Animaker tutorial for beginners how to use Animaker. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be giving you a tutorial on Animaker, how to use Animaker to create professional animation and live action videos. So let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is you're going to go to a platform known as Animaker.com and you will land right here. This is the official website. Now, Animaker is a platform that allows you to create animation videos and you can also create live action videos. Uh, and you will be able to do so in just one click. There are powerful tools that are available. There is a builder and editor that allows you to create a powerful presentation. And we also have 100 million plus stock videos and photos. In order to get started with Animaker, it's actually really easy. You're just going to click on sign up, enter your email address or use your Google account. After the initial sign up or sign in to your Animaker, this is where you will land. Now, I have signed up for the free version of Animaker and you can see these are all of the different tools that we are getting. So at the top, you'll be able to find the create option that will obviously allow us to create a new video, social media post, presentation, voiceover and more. Then we have my project where I can check my previous projects that I have created, shared with me, uh, different shared projects will be shown here, favorites, brand kit, and then we also have a team that we can create, manage exports and tutorials. So what we need to do is you can either select from here, we have different templates available too, uh, templates for videos, we have horizontal videos, vertical videos, square videos and more. So I'll be creating a horizontal video. So we'll select this one. Now I can start with a template or we can start from the blank. What happens with the template? It becomes more easier for us and it gives us an inspiration, a complete template to work with that we can customize and it's actually really good for beginners. So this is the template gallery on Animaker. Now at the top, you can customize your search. We have all templates, cartoon and 2D videos, ads and promos, explainer videos, LND, corporate and HR videos, invites, wishes, outro, intro, presentations, and more. So Animaker is actually a pretty good platform to create any kind of video, any social media video or a YouTube video as well. In my case, I want to create an explainer video. So what I'll do is I'll just simply go to this here, which says explainer. All right. And I'm going to select this one. Click on preview or use. So I'll just simply click on use and it will take us to our Animaker builder. This is the canvas for Animaker. At the top, we have our title for the video and you can give it any title. At this side of the screen, you'll be able to find templates, character, properties, text, background, image, video, music, effects and upload. So you can select any element from here and it will be shown all of the different, for instance, we have selected the characters and I'll be able to find all of the characters here. This is our main window where we work and at the bottom here, we have our overall timeline. We also have create timeline option here. We have our voiceover, play, and then we have our comment, zoom in, zoom out and layers. So here we have a video, we have a scene which is three seconds and in this scene, uh, these are all of the scenes. You can see in this template, we're getting up to 10 scenes. Okay, so this is the first scene for three seconds. You can see this is the time for the scene, which is three seconds here and scene one. In scene one, we have a character and then we have a text. So this is the character. We can add different animation characters here, add effects, and once you select a character in Animaker, you can do a lot with it. You can change the action. You can see standing, standing and talking, angry, crying. At the top, we have action plus, lip sync, smart move, animation, uh, transparency, position, lock, delete, and more. So I have selected this character here, and this one is actually waving. Uh, for me too, I actually wanted to go with something similar, but let's change the character. So I'm going to go to the characters here and I'm actually looking for a woman instead of a man. So what I'll do is I'll actually go with this one here. This character looks better. This is something I was looking for. Now what I'll do is I'll get rid of this one. So we'll just click on delete and it will be removed. Let's place our new character here and we can actually make it bigger very easily like so. Now you can see this character, I wanted to wave, waving and saying hi. Okay, this is what I want. So I'm going to change the action for this character. And this is what it looks like now. 
okay i'm gonna make it a little bigger and we'll adjust her here now we have text Select the text and we can change the font. We can change the alignment and everything. I want to change the font. And we can even, you know, change what's written here. It says, hello there. And I want it to say, welcome, like so. And now what we'll do is we'll change the color. Okay, the color is okay with white. And then we have our font here. I can change the font a little bit. And it will look something like this. Let's make our text a little bigger. And I'm going to place it here. Then this, these lines are actually looking good. And the background color. Uh, let's change that. For that, we're going to go to the background here. You can see background. And we can select any image as a background. We can select different, uh, you know, you can see we have different backgrounds such as educational, travel, public place, sport, and more. So I want to go for educational. So click on view all and I'm going to actually go with this board here and this is what it will look like. Okay, we have an element here for some reason and I'm going to actually delete this one. Okay, so you can see this is what it looks like now. I will adjust my text and I'll place it here. And now we can place these lines as well, like so. And our character, I will make it a little bit smaller and we'll place her here. So you can see this is what it looks like now. You will customize the template this way. And now you can see it's a brand new scene that we have. This is a three second scene. Let's move to the second scene here. In this scene, I'll show you how to add the properties and an image or a video. So again, we have a character here and text. What I'll do is I'll go to the properties and let's check out some of the properties that we can add. Properties mean different shapes, frames, gradients, buildings, uh, office and more. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just add this element here, which is a calendar. And I'm going to place the calendar here. Let's actually get rid of this text for now. And I'll add any text if I want to. And we'll place the calendar here. We have a character. And I'm going to make my character a little bit smaller. Like so. And we can add an action here. So this one is thinking. And I can change the expression as well. Make it sad, happy, angry, confused. And we can change the action. So for me, I think the, this one looks okay for now. So this action looks good. We have a calendar here. And now I can click on the calendar and give it an animation. Because I don't want it to just like a still uh, image. We want any, um, you know, a kind of like an animation. So we have fade in, zoom, enter. So you can see all of these different animations available. And at the bottom here, when you add a property, you can select where you want to add it within your scene. If you want to add it to the last maybe two seconds of your scene you can do that we can adjust the timing if you want to add it to maybe uh first two seconds then you can in the middle so you can select and adjust the timing from here and same goes with the text that we add into our video so it's actually really easy to edit now i can go to the video section here so there is a video section too we can not just create animation videos just like this with characters but we can also add videos for instance, if I wanted to add, if I'm creating like a motivational video or something. So let's actually work on a new scene. So what I can do is I can add a video in the background. So you can see this one. We'll drag and drop it here and it will be added in the background. There you go. And now you can see it's a video. Um, I can add a character or a property or a text here on our background that we added. Similarly, we can add an image. Then we have music. So in music, you can see we have different music that we can select and we will be able to add it and it will be shown here at the bottom. Once your video is ready and you feel like you have edited all of your scenes, you can play your video. You can see here. Let's actually play it and it will just, you know, uh, you know, demo video that I'm creating for you guys. So once you create a video with all of the scenes, with all of the animations, then it will look something like this. You can now click on publish. Once you click on publish, then you'll be able to download the video. Click on download and now you can select different download options. We have HD 720, full HD 180p and then we have 2K, 4K as well. So I'll be going with HD 720. 
click on download and the video will be downloaded that you created with AnyMaker. Now AnyMaker is a platform that allows you to get started as a complete beginner and create fun animation and live action videos. Go ahead and check it out right now. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.